In today's video, we are going to look at parallel and perpendicular lines and the difference between the two. Now let's start off with parallel lines. Now two lines are said to be parallel if they have the same gradient so that the gradient of line A is the same as the gradient of line B. Here we have two equations and we have a question which reads show whether or not these two lines are parallel. Now these two equations are represented in the general form. That is the general equation of a straight line. And so to show whether or not these two lines are parallel, we need to represent these equations in the slope intercept form so that we can compare their gradients. Now if their gradients are the same, then we conclude that these two lines are parallel. However, if they are not the same, then they are not parallel. So let's start off with the first equation. Let's try to find the gradient of the first equation. Now let's say this is the equation for line A and this is the equation for line B. For line A, we have 3y minus 6x equals 9. Now we are going to transpose negative 6x to the right hand side. So we have 3y equals 6x plus 9. And then we divide through by 3 so that we have y equals 6x divided by 3 plus 9 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2 so we have 2x plus 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we've been able to represent the equation of line A in the slope intercept form. Now comparing this equation, let's say this is equation 1, comparing this equation to y equals mx plus c, you realize that the value of the gradient is 2. So let's say ma is 2. Now let's solve for the second equation. We have 2y minus 4x equals negative 12. So we transpose negative 4x to the right hand side. We have 2y equals 4x minus 12. So we want to divide through by 2 so that we have y equals 4x over 2 minus 12 over 2. Now 4 divided by 2 is 2 and then 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we have y equals 2x minus 6. When we compare this equation to this, we have m to be 2. So this is mb. Now since the gradient of line A is the same as the gradient of line B, it follows that these two lines are parallel. So now let's talk about perpendicular lines. So two lines are said to be perpendicular if the product of their gradients is negative 1. Now what this primarily means is that if the gradient of say line A is M, then the gradient of line B is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of line A. So that when you multiply the two gradient values, you are going to get the result to be negative 1. Now let's take a typical scenario. If the gradient of line A is said to be 1 over 2, then the gradient of line B is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of line A. So what this means is that we are going to flip 1 over 2 to give 2 over 1. So we have 2 over 1 and because it is the negative reciprocal, we have negative here. Now negative 2 over 1 is the same as negative 2. Now let's try to multiply these two values. So 1 over 2 times negative 2, 2 cancels out 2 and then we have 1 times negative 1 which is negative 1. So it follows that these two lines are perpendicular to each other. Now we have a question here. We are to show whether or not these two lines are perpendicular. So we are going to represent these two equations in the slope intercept form 
and then we multiply their gradients to see whether we are going to have a result to be negative 1. Now let's start off with the first equation. We have 4y minus 5x minus 1 equals 0. Now we are going to transpose negative 5x minus 1 to the right hand side. We have 4y equals 5x plus 1 and then we divide through by 4 so that we have y equals 5x over 4 plus 1 over 4. So for this equation, we have the gradient to be 5 over 4. So let's say the gradient of line A is 5 over 4. Now let's solve for the second equation. We have 5y equals negative 4x plus 2. Now we divide through by 5. And then we have y equals negative 4x over 5 plus 2 over 5. So the gradient for this line is negative 4 over 5. Now let's multiply the two gradient values. We want to see if the value of gradient A multiplying the value of gradient B will give us negative 1. So we have MA to be 5 over 4 and then we have MB to be negative 4 over 5. So 5 cancels out 5 and then this cancels out this so that we have negative 1 left. So 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Hence these two lines are perpendicular. In the next video, we are going to solve more questions on parallel and perpendicular lines. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.